Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's been a while and I have to say that this is actually my second attempt at doing this video. I shot this video last week and um, tried to upload it, but it couldn't upload because it was over 15 minutes. I still yet don't have uh, the, um, how do you say, uh, the means or, or yeah, essentially I don't have, I'm not able to produce videos more than 15 minutes. So I'm gonna try to keep this, you know, relatively short and sweet and show you what this uh, epic blade can do <clears throat> but anyway i'm out here to do a review of a custom made blade that donnie b all day uh essentially designed for me well i gave him the idea but he put it down on paper or on the computer and uh, came up with this design and it is just freaking awesome i love it and this is the uh uh second time i'm using this blade uh, when I shot the first video, couldn't really see much of the, uh, the cutting footage. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and shut up and show you what I have. And, sorry, you have to look at my ugly mug. What I have for you today, let me drop the sheath, is this. This is called the Peacekeeper. You got 14 inches of 5160 high carbon steel, full tank construction, steel butt cap, the guard is welded on, you got rosewood handle scales, glued and pinned, and this thing is a freaking tank, and if you notice right here, you got what looks like a convex edge, and I am sorry about the, uh, video quality I don't have a tripod yet or something to set you up on so in other words I'm just holding you guys up but anyway this right here is what I had help being designed or was designed by DBAD is just this epic blade and also I forgot to I uh, left out too it's got this really nice choil right up here so where you can get in and just do all your detail work do your you know your, your feathering or your, your your curls or your little wood curls for a fire it's just an all outright awesome self-defense weapon and outdoor tool but anyway you know what i could talk about it say how great it is and you know how great d-bad is which he is by the way but um i just want to show you how this thing cuts so without further ado let's get to it so what i'm going to do I'm gonna turn you guys over and I'm just sorry again about the quality I will get better equipment to where I could do this without having to hold the camera and the chop it is just blowing right through this wood just effortlessly I mean very very devastating now the reason why this is called a peacekeeper is because you know, in order to keep the peace, especially with a weapon, you need two things. And this, this, this is just my opinion. But one is you kind of need something to where it, um, it's a deterrent. It will dissuade somebody or an attacker or whoever from disturbing your peace. You know, somebody says, oh, I don't want to mess with this guy. He's got a pretty intimidating looking blade. So that's what that is. The other part of the Peacekeeper is that if all else fails and you do have to, let's say, handle your business, this is going to take care of that business. So that's why it's called the Peacekeeper. So now I'm going to try to actually, you know what? I could probably set you guys like right here against this 
There we go. All right, you guys see me? Good. Now, get this wood right here, and just start. It is just going right through. Now, this wood right here has been sitting out. It is dead wood. It is a hardwood, a hardwood, which kind, I don't know. It's probably either Palo Verde or Mesquite, but this is definitely seasoned wood. And it's just going right through it. I mean, just look at that destruction. It's just chewing right through it. Let's see if we can finish hacking through it. checking out because I am in the wash and I also noticed that there are people that have taken up residence back here you know tents stuff like that so just got to keep an eye out anyway ooh, spiny there it says it has a convex edge Just, there we go. There's that choil right there. And you need to make yourself some arrows, tent spikes, spears, whatever your bushcrafting needs are. This, uh, this will get the job done. I mean, just I just love that choil. Just love it. So now, I also forgot to mention two on the blade. Whoop, sorry guys, is that right up here is also sharpened as well. So let's see. I don't know if you can see it or not. Hey, look at that. I mean, it's just shaving. And in a fighting situation, I know this blade style isn't really meant for thrusting, as you can tell. This is more of a hacking and slashing weapon. But if you get in close and you start jabbing somebody in the ribs, that point, in this edge, well, not jabbing someone, I should, I should say that, but let's say like Bigfoot or Predator, or start jabbing them in the face, they're not gonna have a good day. You know, it's, it's gonna tickle. But, you know, this is just an awesome, awesome, awesome blade, that D-Bad design. And I'd like to give a shout out to Donnie B all day. Brother, thank you so much for helping me, taking the time in doing so, and bringing this thing to life. I mean, it's just awesome. And I'll treasure these always. And that the, but the best thing about this is that this blade is the only one of its kind. There is not another one like it, unless you contact the Kukri House, which brought this bad boy to life. And come to think about it, I forgot um, the information that they sent me on it and to the and about the man who forged this. And I'd just like to give a shout out to him 
I mean, if you know who you are, I mean, you know who you are. Thank you so much. I mean, you are a very talented and very skilled craftsman to make something like this. I mean, this is just awesome. But I know I only got, you know, a short um, time window. So anyway, I'll try to maybe hack some more things up. Ah. This right here, put it right there. All right. Oh, shit. Anyway, it's just awesome. But, <laughs> got a little bit of a a little bit of a failure here as I was hacking and I'm just hacking on wood Whew. piece of the handle breaks off oh that sucks that sucks but you know what that's life you know so I'm gonna try to get in contact with the Kukri house and let them know and see if I can send this back because I mean I love this blade and it just sucks that this happened but anyway, you guys take it easy. And also remember, 22 veterans a day take their own lives. The only thing we could do to get that number down to zero is to bring awareness. So everyone stay safe, stay sharp. And until next time, you two, have a good one.